In this video, I just want to share with you a method that has totally changed the way my hair looks and it cut the drying time down in half. I'll be showing you how to do it and what I've been using. Before we jump into it, I just want to show you what I have been using to dry my hair over the last two years. You'll probably recognize it. This is the Revlon One Step Hair Dryer. Unfortunately, with this product, I've had some issues recently because it gets so incredibly hot. The high is a bit too hot and the low isn't hot enough for me. It did give me a really nice look though, and I've liked it and enjoyed it for a long time. But if this is the only thing that you're using to dry your hair, I think it could end up looking flat. It could still look very beautiful, don't get me wrong. But I have a solution if you want your hair to be a lot more voluminous. The main reason that I stopped using this and I sought out an alternative is because lately, every time I use it, my smoke alarm goes off. And the last time I used it, my hair was actually smoking. So it got me a little concerned, as you, you would imagine. So I recently purchased a new blow dryer, the Remington Pro Wet to Style Dryer. And it sells for about $20 to $30 at retailers, you know, everywhere. It comes with a handful or quite a few accessories and attachments. And I figured, you know, it was just another standard run-of-the-mill hair dryer but I've had such different results when using it. And the very first time using it, I actually have video of it, I'm gonna show you. I kept my hair curly, I used the diffuser, and it dried my hair very fast, and it felt strangely super, super fluffy, soft, and voluminous, which is not normal for my hair at all. So that confused and intrigued me. So the next time I used it, I used the comb attachment, like you see here, to get my hair mostly dry. This dried my hair so fast and the comb attachment seemed to help, you know, with dispersing the heat closer to the roots and in numerous different directions, contributing to giving my hair a lot more volume than normal. And I've also tested out their other attachment to, you know, blow dry your hair normally. They have a little one where you can dry with your own brush but I personally don't care for that method because I'm just so used to using some type of blow dryer brush like this. I'm gonna start out by just running this through some of my hair to start the process of drying my hair and then I'm gonna section it out. My hair is surprisingly very dry so I'm already gonna section it. Okay, so this is what my hair looks like. It's a bit snarly. The only product that I use in my hair is this BB Hairdresser Invisible Oil. This is from Bumble and Bumble. I've shown this before. I spray it into my brush. I really need most of it focused on the ends of the under part of my hair, like right here. This is where I have the snarls, which tend to go away once I cut my hair. So here I'm getting my hair 90 to 95% dry from using the regular blow dryer and comb attachment. I then go in to finish up with the blow dryer brush, focusing on lifting the roots and drying from multiple different directions and angles. So the Remington products, they both come with a cool shot setting and three speed options and three heat setting options, which is why I don't feel like I'm overdoing it with the heat. I can control what level of heat I'm using and have less damage that way. And I keep the settings, you know, in the mid range. Keep in mind, you guys, that it normally takes a very long time and it's a very huge hassle and chore for me to dry my hair. And I try to avoid it as much as possible because it's a whole day ordeal sometimes where I'd go from working with my hair up wet in a bun to running to the bathroom, doing a very small section, running back, half hour to an hour later doing the next one. It's just between my smoke alarm going off, my cat's freaking out and my son being annoyed. It was a bit much and I really wanted to try something else. And now for the first time, I found like the process of drying my hair isn't terrible and I'm actually enjoying it. I really feel that going in and starting the drying process with a good quality blow dryer without super high heat and by focusing on the roots, you can really make a huge difference in how your hair looks in the end. I'm not sure exactly how it will look if you just start the process, you know, with the blow dryer and finish it up just using a normal blow dryer because I just am so used to using a round brush. I love the smoothing effect it has on the hair and it helps to get rid of, you know, a lot of frizz and stuff. So I, I always finish it with this. I think when we're drying with a blow dryer brush, 
we're really pulling the hair very tight and that can contribute to making it look flat though nicely smoothed and it can still look beautiful but flat. So to add the volume, I think pre-drying is the definite way to go. A big thing that I've noticed with this method is that my hair retains volume at the roots even many days after I wash my hair. So that's it for today's video. I really hope this was helpful. I really like trying out new products and techniques. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you so much for watching and take care. You guys, I was just recording this whole video with my hairband up here. So just FYI, if you've seen it, if you noticed it, if it annoyed you, I'm so sorry, but I'm not gonna re-film this. <laughs>